Hello, welcome to Weekly Recipes. Every Tuesday I'd like to release a video of a recipe that falls under the keto eating plan. Uh, tonight I'm cooking skillet chicken fajita casserole. Um, it saves the first time I'm using it, uh, the, the cast iron skillet as a baking uh, pan. Um, I have uh, Pyrex dishes that I use to uh, bake all the time with, but uh, for the vast, vast majority of the time when I use uh, the cast iron skillet, it's for uh, bacon and eggs. But, um, it's going to be interesting to uh, do something else with the, the cast iron skillet. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And here's all what's in it. Starting off with a tablespoon of olive oil, about two pounds of chicken, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Uh, the four colors of bell peppers, green, yellow, orange, and red. One small onion, sliced. It's going to be also interesting. Uh, the bell peppers are going to be sliced and the onions are sliced. So this first time I'm doing something with uh, anything other than uh, uh, dicing it up. One package of uh, fajita seasoning mix. One cup of sour cream. Four ounces of softened sour uh, um, cream cheese. And two cups of shredded cheddar. I'll get that all cut up and started. And first step is to uh, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Okay, the uh, oven is up to heat and the skillet has been uh, preheating for a while. So I'll go ahead and add a tablespoon of the olive oil. Okay, I got the pan oiled up and I'll put the chicken in there. I'll cook that up until there's... Well, it's, it feels strange to put the chicken in the pan without doing any kind of seasoning. I thought about doing pepper in there, but uh, it's got peppers. So well, I'm just going to do a bit of a salt on it. Not much because it doesn't call for much, but uh, salt's good for you. Okay, the chicken's been cooking for a while. Um, hopefully not too much of a while. I kind of got distracted. But anyway, um, I'll go ahead and take the uh, chicken out of the pot, uh, pan and uh, put it in the, to the side here. <laughs> I almost put it back into the, the glass bowl that I had it, the raw chicken and cinnamon, but I'm glad I, I caught that. But uh, let me go ahead and get to the, the chicken set aside here. Okay, now I got the chicken and, um, set to the side, I'll, I'll put the uh, peppers and sliced onions in the pan. And I'll keep those cooking until those get all tender. I uh, kind of forgot I was doing a re recipe video and I already uh, cut, uh, mixed up the um, sour cream and ca uh, cream cheese and just get those uh, mixed up and uh, I'll cook the uh, peppers and onions until they're all cooked up. Okay, the instructions on the site uh, kind of, I think it implies that it's supposed to be done in the pan, but my, unfortunately my pan doesn't seem to be big enough to do this next step. So I'm going to do that in the, in the big bowl here. So I'm going to take all the, the veggies here and just mix them in with the, the chicken instead of the chicken with the veggies. All right. Now that the chicken and veggies are mixed up, I'll go ahead and mix in the cream cheese and sour cream in there. All right, there's the cream cheese and sour cream, and I'll get that mixed all together. All right, got all that mixed up. Now I'll add in the fajita seasoning, and then get that all mixed up. Now that the fajita seasonings are mixed into the fajita, fajita casserole, I'll go ahead and put that back into the pan, and then cover the the pan with uh, two cups of uh, shredded cheddar. Now I'll finally put that into the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Here's the uh, finished product. Um, naturally I'm going to let it cool off a bit before uh, boiling it up. Um, the recipe online says it makes um, eight servings but it says it only makes eight one cup servings which doesn't sound very satisfying. So I'm going to go ahead and make it into a four servings. So uh, yeah, I'm going to look up a couple more four serving recipes because my freezer is getting pretty damn full. So um, get, let me get a cool down and then I'll show you what that looks like. All right, and there's the finished product. Um, that's what the pan looks like. It uh, seems like that's something that's going to be a bear to clean, but um, 
Cast iron is a uh, is not, uh, quite famous for being easy to clean, but um, we'll see how famous it is to clean uh, baked uh, cheese off of. Anyway, um, there's the four servings. Um, yeah, the original uh, recipe says uh, eight one cup servings. It doesn't seem like very much of a meal, so um, I'm just gonna do uh, four single serving uh, four. Servings. I didn't re really measure out how many cups were in each servings, but I try to get um, uh, an even split there. But uh, yeah, that's uh, another one one pan recipes that I, I love making. That just cut everything up and and put it together, and that that's your recipe. Um, I'm gonna try to look for more uh, four serving recipes because my freezer is getting pretty darn full. Um, but I'm not sure if I said that already. <laughs> Um, today's been a pretty active day. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and all the good stuff. Check out blog links below. And uh, thanks for watching.